Yo, what's going on, dudes? So here we got we got my boy Miko and the white Jeep Liberty I named Buster. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a Rough Country lift on it. Uh, we got a two and a half inch lift Rough Country uh, for the Jeep Liberty. I want to keep it pretty stock, but rolling around in the, the snow and in the beach, I'd like a little bit more ground clearance. So supposedly, this is supposed to get me a little bit more clearance here in the I got the Vredestein pins is on there they've been working good so far so we'll see how it goes start by uh, jacking it up I love when you're down here on the floor you get attacked <laughs> like hey buddy I know I know you want to hang out right now but like you won't understand this I'm trying to lift my Jeep Liberty you, you tracking no okay <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna start by lifting the front of the Jeep and then uh, we'll move on from there. The trick is with these bad boys, the finger remover 9000, is when you're uh, <laughs> putting it under the truck, dude. Be sure to not remove your fingers. So here's what we got going for um, here's the front, you know. It's uh, I'd say a quarter inch steel. It's been uh, painted. Uh, the welds look pretty all right. Uh, they're they're complete at least. And then here's the rear. Pretty thin. So that's they say it's a two and a half inch lift, but we'll see what I uh, see how I get after this. Maybe I should go measure real quick what it what it's sitting at right now. Yeah, luckily for me. Uh, Rough Country provided with uh, the online instructions. I mean, I, I have like uh, the ability to read as like a fifth grader uh, in English. I'm pretty good at words, so they made it. They made it pretty simple. They even they even got pictures of the install, baby. Let's go. Let's go, big dog. All right, baby. We're moving on to step number three. We got our shoes off and our toes are out. We got Miko I'm trying not to get him squished here. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna support the driver's side lower control arm, this jack. Get up top, remove the fuse box from over top, and that'll give us access to the top of the shock. Then we can hit some zing, 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 zing the shock out. This is my second time taking this shock out, so about a year ago, I put a ton of anti-seize on the top of it, so it should uh, zing right out. Drop it out, put our Harbor Freight spring compressors on it, Pull the new bad boy in, put it on this side, and we'll have this side lifted up. Show you what I'm looking at here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the positive, positive terminal off, and that will let us go into the fuse box. Uh, unplug the fuse box, and where the top of the shock is is down here on my uh, wrench. There, you can, you can sort of see where it's going to. What we're not going to do is we're not going to un unbolt everything. We're just going to do this side of bolts and fold it over that way so that we can access the top of the shock. All right, what I ended up doing, I'll touch the camera and show you, but my hands are all covered in anti-seize. So I ended up removing the battery, and I will show you that in just one moment. But it's times like these <laughs> that really make me wonder why. <laughs> they used a 10 millimeter bolt for everything else for the battery tray and then they put one really small one that's really hard to get to with a 12 millimeter just remind us you know not everything in life is easy all right I'm going to show you now what I was talking about all right so what I did was I removed the battery I removed the battery tray and then it's in a little square pattern if I can get it to autofocus. Come on, buddy. Well, it looks like we're not gonna focus. Okay, well, there's one, and then there's two, and then there's one, and then there's two. Alright, so before I proceed, Buster got his name because he came from Vermont and he was super rusty. And when I was Breaking one of the bolts on the suspension for the first time last year. I slipped Punched the side of the Jeep Busted my knuckles all open. So this is Buster. So I'm gonna grab some gloves real quick before 
I start prying and Buster strikes again. All right, I found my Metanix gloves because I'm a Metanit and it's got finger pads in it. So when I punch the side of the Jeep, <laughs> at least I will not dent the side of the Jeep so bad. <laughs> so here's what I got set up here. I got a breaker bar on a half inch extension to a half inch impact socket that goes to uh, 18 millimeters. And I'm gonna attempt to bust off the four bolts <sighs> without punching myself in the face or screaming so profanities where the neighbor can hear. Now hopefully, I put anti-seize on these bad boys, so hopefully they should turn right off. <laughs> yes sir, there's number one baby. Number two. Oh, smooth as butter. Imagine number three and number four. Number three, easy as butter. And number four. Oh, it's an easy day today, baby. What the updates are. So, here's the little, try to get in the minimum focusing distance. Gosh darn it. Anyways, there's the bolts I'm breaking off. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. So we finished the driver's side bolts for the ooh, top of the shock on the driver's side. So for the passenger side, it's the same concept. You got one, two, three, four. All you did was remove the air box. The one screw in the air box sits on these rubber mounts. So once you get those, you lower it down and we'll move on to the next step. All right, so now that the top bolts are undone and the top of the strut is free, what we gotta do now we got to remove the tie rod uh, another piece of the suspension and then we've got this bolt back here to release and this it will sag and you can pop it out well we're taking a uh, train timeout on both of the jeep because it requires a 22 millimeter socket for the tie rod and i don't have one so I've got a 19, a 21, and a 24, no 22. Uh, so we're going to go hit up the Harbor Freight, baby. BRB. So we're back from Harbor Freight. We got some sockets and we got some ratchet extensions. But here's what I want to show you what I got instead. Check this bad boy. We got the Badlands ZX or 12,000 pounds with the steel cable. Uh, today's Cyber Monday. And this is the Black Friday price they had on it. They brought it back. And it was the last one they had on their table. So it was 44% off. So I paid $140 for this bad boy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out the steel cable for a rope cable. And on Amazon they sell a little uh, wireless extension uh, for your hand. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. This bad boy's going on there next. Uh, whew. It's been a tough one. Uh, not going to lie to you. So I got the... The shock out, there it is on the floor. What they did is I put my Harbor Freight spring compressors on there so that I didn't have to take it down all the way. I undid the, the sway bar, the steering knuckle, and this top support there. I'm blanking on what it's called because I'm frustrated, but yeah, it's coming along good. Just got to put the spacer on top of that and put it all back in. Whew. All right, so we're... I'd say an hour and a half into this project. My dog's chilling over there. I got the spring compressors on for free. <laughs> and oh my goodness, they're so tight. But yeah, it's on there now. I'm a little afraid of it. So I hope when it hits the Jeep, that it bounces off and flings somewhere and it doesn't hit me. But it's on there. About to throw it back in there. 
All right, I'm officially out of the danger zone with the Harbor Freight spring compressor. Let's see if it'll focus back in there. Come on. I don't know what it is, the camera, but there's two Harbor Freight spring compressors right there. If they do blow up now, at least, <laughs> at least they're in the front uh, underneath. So what I'm doing now is I'm buttoning up the, the top suspension bolts right there. And then uh, it should be easy to button everything back up and then I'll move to the other side. But without those spring compressors, uh, this is a no-go for sure. Uh, definitely go invest in the ones that you can put the spring compressors on while this, the spring is still in the vehicle because it makes it fall out really easy. You can definitely, yeah, go buy the spring compressors. Decided to uh, wrap up most of it off camera. Let me flip it off. I smashed my finger, so I got mad and decided to finish it up. Well, here's the finished product. We got about a whole five inches right there. Plenty of space. Uh, overall, I mean, it looks bigger. We'll see what the see what it looks like out in the sunlight. All right, now we got the Jeep flipped around. I'm gonna transition to the back. What I did was I put two jack stands underneath of it. Um, and then I'm going to put the jack on the, the rear end there, being careful not to uh, bust the, the cover. Uh, I'm gonna give it a little lift and then I'm gonna undo the shock and the sway bar that controls it, that shock, let it sag down, and then these two springs should come out the sides, put the lift on, put it all back together. All right, back, we're back dudes, we're up. Yes, sir. What's up dudes, we're back. We got the Jeep all jacked up. I had to go to work, this is the next day. Um, got the Jeep all lifted up, the rear sway bar and the rear shock is undone. I'm using the uh, jack to support the weight and uh, the spring sitting in there. So I'm going to throw some spring compressors on it, take it out, and then pop in the new part. And I'll see you next week. All right. Progress. We got the rear passenger side spring and the spacer back in there. So you got your, that black piece right here is your spacer. I'm using your Harbor Freight. Spring compressors goes on there. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, what's going on, dudes? So, popped open the garage door and realized it's dark. It's like uh, 6 p.m., so daylight saving times. It's really messing it up, but boy, oh boy. This Jeep is considerably bigger. Let's see if I can prop this camera up right quick. It got so much taller. It used to be able to reach up in the top easy. Now the top, it's hard to reach. She's all tooted up. Thank you. 